Jordan, tell me why are you running? I am running uh, because I was I was not thrilled with what I saw happening. I think that West Michigan is a low drama area. We're a conservative area, and we take our community values very seriously. And um, when the current board majority took over, there was a threat to those community values. So I had people reach out to me, and they know I'm politically involved, and said, "What is going on, and and what can we do?" And I, you know, started thinking about that. Talked to my wife about that, and kind of decided that, you know, we need to take a serious look at running. And so I'm, I'm running to just restore a little bit of of uh, fiscal responsibility, um, some of that camaraderie and and. Uh, you know, bipartisanship, being able to work with anyone and everyone uh, in the county, because as a public servant, you work for anyone and everyone. Um, so I, I really got into the race to bring us back to uh, a, a low drama governing board that we can get done what we need to do and stop wasting money doing it. Describe to me your priorities and or platform. My priority, yeah, my priorities, um, you know, by and large are to uh, get back to that low drama um, governing. I think that we need to take a serious look at how we do budgeting, um, and the budget process is hugely important, looking at funding our various departments. I think we need to look at creating a strategic plan for the future. It makes it very hard to uh, operate a department if you are um, ambiguous on what your funding level is going to be from year to year, so we need to build in a little bit of stability there and then also create a plan for five, ten years out, the direction that we want to go. Part of that includes things like uh, affordable housing. It's not very affordable as a, you know, a young family who just uh, uh, bought a house in, in the recent future. It's very hard to find, and it's very hard to find um, starter homes for young families. And these are the people who want to come here. These are the people who make Ottawa County um, you know, the community that we've always had. And it's just simply unaffordable. So we need to look at a strategic housing plan. And that doesn't mean putting up big apartment complexes in every neighborhood, but it means, you know, how do we work with our community partners to add more housing um, at every income level, but uh, especially for those young families. And that's a workforce issue. Um, you know, it's a, it's a community issue. And then um, I think we need to take a look at uh, s some of the other things that we've seen concerns over. And another one, big one, is staffing. Um, we've had a, a, a tremendous amount of brain drain from the county. We've had people with decades and, and uh, maybe even combined centuries of uh, experience working for the county leave the county because of concerns that they have. Um, with how it's being run, and we need to make sure that they feel um, that they have a, a stable work environment and are able to provide services. Any organization, any company that loses that amount of people that quickly knows that they're going to be in serious trouble and there's going to be uh, hiccups in their operation. And the same is, is true for a county, so we need to run the county a little bit more like a business. Uh, tell me about you personally, something that maybe you go out to do on a regular basis, go on vaca not vacation, but more or less to do around here in Ottawa County or vacation, go to restaurants. Tell me about you personally, that maybe something that other people don't know about. Yeah. Um, so I you know, live here on the north side of Holland with my wife. Uh, we got married last summer, actually, and so... Um, you know, we, we moved back to the area. This is where I grew up. I grew up a mile down the road across from Bowerman's Blueberries. And uh, yeah, we, we just love it here. So, you know, we go to a lot of the parks around here. We go watch the sunset at Lake Michigan. Love going downtown for, for dinner. Um, but I've always been very uh, engaged in, in politics. So, you know, when I'm not working, I'm often out helping people, um, you know, knock doors and and engage in, in that political scene. But I used to be a camp counselor, and so I really like going out, you know, hiking, camping. Um, I 
gone back a couple of times in the last few years to volunteer um, over at the summer camp that I worked at. And so, um, yeah, I we just like being outside and it's summertime right now. And so, we, we you know, we've just been taking as much advantage of that as we can. Why should people vote for you? Well, I think every election is a is a, a choice between two people, sometimes more, but typically it's a, it's a choice between two people and you have to ask yourself, what do I want my community to be? How do I want my community to be represented? And I think that um, the way I'm going to represent it is, is a way that is, you, you know, based on the community. Everything I do is uh, for the good of West Michigan, but for the good of the north side of Holland specifically. I've got a lot of experience working uh, at the state level in legislation, helping pass bills um, that affect our community directly. This bills about public safety, the, the foster care system. Um, you know, I've, I've been very privileged to work on a lot of great legislation, and I think that experience um, has prepared me for this job and, and making sure that our county is also doing what it needs to do. It needs to provide services, and it needs to stretch our dollar as far as it can. No one wants higher taxes. You're not going to see higher taxes uh, with me, but what you're going to see is um, more more efficient uh, efficiency in the county services. And so, you know, vote for me is a vote for stability. Um, it's it's a vote for low drama. It's a vote for getting done what we need to get done. You pretty much probably answered this question already, but um, within your previous answers, uh, what has been your thoughts the past year and a half to two years? Yeah, I, my thoughts the past year and a half, two years has been uh, a lot of questions. Um, you know, I'm, I don't hate everything that, that Ottawa Impact has done, but I have a lot of questions and a lot of concerns about the way they've gone about doing it. I think that um, it, in, it's largely been very oppositional, and I think we need to do a little bit better of a job of, of working with everyone. Um, you know, I'm not a retaliatory person. You won't see me making ad hominem attacks online. That's not who I am. Um, I've received some of those attacks, uh, but you know, my main concerns have been, you know, questions of why. Why are we doing these things? Why are we on the hook for, um, you know, four or five lawsuits? Uh, why are staff leaving at such an alarming rate? And, uh, you know, why are, is, is a lot of this process not being open and transparent? I think there's a lot of concerns. There's a lot of questions that I have, and I don't feel like I've gotten those answers. And so that concerns me. I don't feel like I'm being represented, and I've talked to a lot of people who feel that same way. So, you know, I, I think we've got to do a little bit better, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that we, we will do better. So to follow up to some of your uh, answers previously, so what, like, what, what is the biggest question you want answered, would you say, if you were to find out if you were being elected as a county commissioner? Yeah, the, the, the biggest question that I want answered is, um, why is, why does it feel so much like an in-group and an out-group? And, you know, most of the people who are on the board are Republicans, and yet it, it doesn't feel that they're even in the same party a lot of the time. You know, I think there's so much that we can agree on. Lower taxes, community and family values, um, you know, making sure that we're not bloating the size of government and that we're able to provide services, you know, for as cheap as we can. But it it seems almost that there's a, an emphasis on ideology, um, specific ideology on a few specific issues rather than generally working to make the county better, which is what we should all be in favor of. So my, my big question is, is uh, you know, why is there so much hostility? And why does that have to continue the way, the way it is? So how would you work to better make a cohesive county government? Yeah, it, you know, I, I think it, it really starts with having an open mind and breaking down barriers it, building relationships. I, I'd like to build relationships and, you know, if there's people who want to work with me, I'm more than willing to work with them. Um, out in Lansing, you know, we've worked with 
Democrats and we've worked with um, you know, other Republicans too. It's just not an option to only work with one side. That doesn't mean that I'm not conservative. I'm, I'm a very conservative person. I'm not going to compromise my principles and I wouldn't want anyone to compromise their principles. But there's a difference between compromising your principles and having an open dialogue and having an open mind and, and uh, willing to listen. And that's what I propose to bring to the table. Um, and I hope that people resonate with that message. Uh, you're talking about affordable housing, uh, making housing affordable. How about that? Um, housing affordable within Ottawa County. Anything in your past experience, can you make that more possible here in Ottawa County? Yeah, so I currently serve on the Ottawa County Land Bank Authority, okay. um, as well as working in the state legislature right now. And there's uh, there's cool state programs that exist, and, and there's been funding in the past for uh, economic development and certain housing programs. And through the, the Land Bank Authority, we've been able to approve some economic development projects around the county, um, including things that... Um, affect housing. And so I, I, you know, but what it really entails is working together with different community organizations, with builders, uh, with nonprofits, with local governments to try and put together a, a cohesive plan, something that, you know, moves the needle in making sure housing is available, but also make sh making sure that it's um, in line with the vision of the community. We're not trying to go in and change the fabric of Ottawa County. I don't, you know, I think this is a great place to live. I don't want to see Ottawa County turn into Wayne County, but I want to see Ottawa County thrive. And I want to see people who live here love living here. And that happens when we all work together and um, there's input from everybody. Uh, you, you said at the very beginning, you didn't like if some of the things that uh, you're running because you didn't like some of the things that were done. Mm -hmm. What were some of those things that you didn't like? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. So uh, there, there's there's several things, but on the first day they fired the former county administrator, and you know, just right there setting uh, setting that precedent, firing the county administrator, whose job is to do what the county board wants them to do. He's answerable to the county board. Um, they didn't even give him a chance to to do what the new county board wanted him to do. Um, they just assumed that because he didn't, they, from what they thought, they didn't agree with their uh, ideology that he could no longer hold that position. And so they fired him and replaced him with someone who, you know, I have questions about his qualifications. And sure enough, now that, that other former uh, county administrator is suing them. So, my biggest concerns have been the amount and frequency of the lawsuits. But even before they had that first meeting, they had the, the, the closed meeting and they were under investigation from the Attorney General for violating the Open Meetings Act. And whether or not what they did was illegal, it wasn't transparent. And I think a lot of people have had frustrations with the transparency aspect of it that even if they're going to do these, these, take these actions, um, at least do it in a transparent way. And so they set themselves off on a, on a very bad precedent. Um, and it's, it's not something that I can get behind. I believe in government transparency and accountability. And, you know, they, they didn't start off on the best foot. Uh, I pretty much have it, everything I could think of at this moment. Is there anything you would like to add? Um, Yeah, I, I would say, uh, so in, through my conversations with people at the doors, the, the overwhelming sense that I've got is that there is frustrations, concerns, and confusion. And I propose that we need to solve those problems. You know, whether or not what they're doing is you know, too conservative or not conservative enough. The, the, the current county board is not being respond. They're not instilling trust in the community. And that's what we need. We need someone who's going to go to the community and say, 
this is how I voted and this is why. And if you have questions about that, ask me, talk to me. And someone who makes themselves available. And I really hope to make myself available. I, I'm available right now and, and uh, you know, you can visit my website or visit my Facebook page and send me a message. I, uh, I, I believe that this is such a great community and I want to be a part of it and I feel that I am a part of it and, and that's why I'm running. So, you know, if, if people do, I, I just want to send that message that people should not feel afraid to contact, even if it's not me, contact your elected officials. They should want to hear from you. Many of them do want to hear from you. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can, we can work one step at a time to make this area as good of a place to live, work, and raise a family.